It's the big potato gamer again. Editing Max here, and we are in the STA1 in a tier 6 game. Now, starting below 94% on the mark, I'm not really looking to mark it. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, I just want to get as close as possible and set myself up as best as possible for the next game. Now, obviously, being against tier 6s in what is widely considered to be not a particularly strong tier 8 vehicle... I am going to try and maximise this. I want to try to avoid the tier 8s. You know, like, fair fights are for suckers. You want to make it as unfair as possible. And I want to try and bully the tier 6s. But we're going to start going to a fairly standard position towards the middle of the map. And we will go from there. Good, 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 good. You spin my head round, round, round. When you go down, when you go down, down. Do, 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 do. Mm. Bye. I would like to think that you guys by now know that I hold myself to a very, um, a very high ethical code when it comes to my my streaming and and obligations and things. I just every now and again, for the good of the stream or the good of my games, I uh, I just ask a favour or two. Never, I never say I'm not doing anything. Uh, smell cows. Ha 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 ha! Has anything got anything to do with bullshit? Oh damn! Oh, dude, why would you stop? Dude, why would you stop right in front of me? Fucking idiot, man! So if we just take a look at the map really quickly, it's not looking particularly good for our team. We are left now within pretty much one corner of the map. The enemy team still has a presence on 9-0, meaning that I can't really sit there. You're going to be in a crossfire. They've got a strong presence in the middle as the Renegade and the Guard are kind of sitting around there. Which means for me, we need to try to push out a flank as best we can, if possible, but it's honestly not looking that great. What's going to be best for us right now is push back into our base, try and get shots down the roads, eliminate anything north, and then if we can, try and break back into the town. But it is looking unlikely at this point. I am starting to think, may as well just try to maximise damage. If the Renegade's coming up the middle, the best play for us is probably to try and kill this ISU and then push back into town across this way. Uh, 
So in saying that, we just look pretty fucked at the moment. What changed? Oh, I'm so annoyed, chat. Like, what ch What changed? We didn't get spotted originally, initially, so I didn't move. So why then did we get spotted? With that big shot taken from the ISU, and despite all my whinging, I think it was either the ISU having binos or the 3485M using some sort of funky bush mechanics. As you'll see in a minute, he does get spotted. Um, taking half my HP, the game is now not winnable. In my opinion, like, we've lost way too much, so just maximise damage. Spotting over it. Actually, this is worth it. This That helps. Bounce. Oh. Holy shit, we marked it. Okay. You know what that is, chat? Do you know what that is? That is two marks of excellence. Two three marks in one fucking night. That's exactly what that is. Look at the state of that, chat. That's not bad. You guys know the drill by now. Let's bring up the ratings and see what I think about the STA-1. So first things first, I'm giving this tank for overall 3 out of 5. I was hovering around a 2, but then I actually thought, I actually think this tank is kind of underrated. It, it must have been buffed since I originally played it because the DPM is lovely. Yes, the armor's pretty, pretty poor, but the DPM and the gun, really, really nice. Like, you can pump out a lot of damage in this thing. The DPM is absolutely lush. So, it's something that's not really to be slept on, to be honest. The mobility's not awful, not great. But overall, like, I actually think it's probably, if, if I had to give it a, a word, I would say underrated. So, that also links nicely into the next two ratings, which probably will surprise some of you. So for ease of marking, I've gone for a 5 out of 5. 5 stars. It was easy. The tank is honestly not that bad, and the mark is really, really low. It being a tech tree vehicle obviously helps, but it shocked me how easy this thing was. I think I went from like 86, 87, 88, up to 95 in about... 14 15 games it was really quick as you heard me say at the end of the video that was my second three mark in one evening the other being the type 70 uh, type 61 sorry the video for that last video in the playlist so go watch that after this if you haven't already but yeah really really good and again for my marking experience i've gone for a five out of five honestly like the tank surprised me that it was as it was as good as it was because i was expecting it to be trash and the marks being really low meant that i just absolutely smash through it and breeze through it so all in all honestly not too bad and i think an underrated tank but anyway as per at this point guys i hope you like the additions on the on the map view part of this video um me having the little tank logo me doing the like area in green again if you want any other implementations you think there's some things that i could do better please let me know in the comments let me know if you do enjoy the video as well other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Give the video a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.